Hello, and welcome back to Bloodborne, part 50. In the last part, we took on one of the most annoying bosses in the game, and we hope you agree. And in this part, we're going to make contact. Alright, so what does the Mensis Cage do? The Mensis Cage um, effectively does nothing. It is a Its physical defense is high, with, you know, given that helmets usually have low physical defense. It, it also has zero bolt defense, which is understandable because it's an iron cage that conducts electricity. Mm -hmm. So, other, so then, other than looking goofy, it's uh, you know mostly pointless for your run. It's it's most it's it's just a it's just, it's a silly costume, yeah. Okay. Okay, we have reached Murgo's loft in the Nightmare of Mensis. Let us go back to the Hunter's Dream while putting in a loading screen for some stupid reason. Well, it's important for us to know that we that torches provide better light than the hand lantern. Yes, they do. Quite quite a bit more. Speaking of which, I'm not even sure if I have my hand lantern on right now. Well, you died recently, so it's likely that you don't. Oh, so the respect gesture also causes her to bow like that. Interesting. Interesting. Let's level up twice. And get only one... Oh, wait. What is this? What is the best amount? All right, let's put them both on strength, so I'll get three points of attack power. Excellent. No, but you didn't. You put it one on strength and one on skill. It, you want to kind of play around with the stats before you level up to gain an idea of which one is going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. Because it's not always the same all the time, especially because my strength is getting so high that now the marginal benefit is going to start to go down. Right. All right, what did I need? Bolt paper? No, I just want more bloodstone chunks so I can level up my sh... That, that that's cool. That's cool. You know, you could you you could wait until you actually get the bloodstone chunks, but it's okay. Use your insight. All right. So you upgraded your pistol twice. Yes. Super pistol. Let's get a shitload of insight real quick. So, we are going to encounter lots of plot important events during this part. There's very little combat. But now that Mikolash has died, there are a lot of there are a couple places we need to hit as soon as possible, or we will risk forgetting about them and ending the game too early. Okay. The Crown of Illusions, the Mensis Cage. Oh, uh, what did the uh, Wheel Hunter badge unlock? Did it actually unlock the chi the Charioteer's wheel? Uh, yes, it did. It, it unlocked the um oh, shit. What is it called? I think it's just called the Executioner's wheel. Or okay. no, it's called Legarius's wheel. Okay. Legarius's wheel is a half physical, half arcane weapon. You can open up the wheel in order to unleash the souls of the damned as part of your physical attack. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Sell it. Well, you sold. Well, you sold the crown of illusions at least. We the the crown of illusions has no function after you unlock the vile blood chamber. Okay. Which is kind of sad. I mean, I suppose then then it's more <laughs> walk around like the Burger King. <laughs> three hundred and sixty-nine. That is three consecutive multiples of three. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again. In the hands of men. It's because of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. He's referring to the first chalice being an old Yarnum, right? Yes, he is. The The only reason why he's telling me this now is because I've been largely ignoring German for most of the game. Right. They're they're really laying it on thick that you should go to the chalice lands. I, I can't somewhat explain it! <laughs> chalice land sucks big donkey duty. Oh, 
Oh look, a speed in, a speed up for uh, blood vials. Cause we need some more. We're getting gore, and then we're gonna fight some more. <laughs> Fuck you. How many more do we need? How long? How must? We, how long must we do this run? How long? How long? Still speed up, Star. <laughs> so this is this is a nice little segue into one of the plot important events that that killing Mikolash is unlocked. Let's go back to Yosefka's clinic and see how our eponymous doctor is doing. We killed Yosefka, didn't we? No, we, we ignored Yosefka, actually. Oh. She she warned us, don't don't come upstairs. I I'm I'm busy. I'm I'm trying to write my manuscript. <laughs> I think I can go this way. Because I did, I did open the locked door, so as long as a certain someone didn't shut it again, I should be able to go this way. And I can't, it's blocked. Damn it. But my, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, passing through, passing through. Stupid witch. Crows. We're almost, almost there. Almost there. Hi, buddy. Okay. Now, what is the mystery of the upstairs? God, I'm nauseous. Have you found this? Uh, not today. <laughs> I remember getting sick in the morning. I knew it. It's usually caused by stress. I'm no beast. I... Oh, God, it feels awful. But... It proves that I'm chosen. You have been chosen by the Cthuloids? Don't you see... How they writhe... Writhe inside my head? Uh, I, I mean, I can't. I can't see through those pretty little locks of yours. I, I mean, I... I bet it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, she's been chosen by the Cthuloids. Die! <laughs> One third of the umbilical cord. That's the second third of umbilical cord that we've gotten since we started the game. Alright. Now are we actually going to find the final third? Yes, we are. As a matter of fact, we're on our way to collect it right now. Oh. Yep. Now, will you be actually using the umbilical cord as a weapon? Uh, they are not weapons, actually. They unlock plot import. They unlock a particular plot important event. Ah. And meanwhile, they give you insight. Okay. Well, now that now that. The <laughs> Now, now that the Lordress of the Manor is now dead, surely nobody is going to lock this door now. I would like it to stay open, please. Thank you. Okay, now do I... Do, do I... Oh, God, I'm speeding up there. All right, we're going on a field trip. Pack your bags, everybody. We're going for speed up town. I kind of wish I had speeded it up just an increment higher than I did. Uh, is, so is this two and a half or three... Two and a half or three? What? Oh, oh, times two. Uh, it's times. Probably about, probably about times three, actually. Yeah. Okay. But I wanted to show just how close all of these areas are, especially because they both give you one third of umbilical cord. Yep. Fireball trap. Troll. Guy who launches it. Two werewolves. Pigman nice, below. Also these triangles. Why am I killing these things? <laughs> Give pitiful experience. Get an oil urn, obviously. Yeah. I mean, oil is nice when I can, when I care to use fire weapons. Because actually, I think I can. Doesn't, uh, doesn't your jump setup on your assault cleaver uh, mean that you can ignite enemies that you've set on fire? Yes, I was going to say. We just gained insight for some reason, but for why? Oh, 
Oh, it's a Bailey Cthulhu. It's a little squiggly baby. Come here, you. Can't be. This is a nightmare. You screwed the wrong hombre. <laughs> So she birthed that uh, Cthulhu, didn't she? She was pregnant and then... <laughs> it's okay, you've, you've given rise to something beautiful. My victory! of the umbilical cord Thank and you. yes we have all three thirds of umbilical cord shoes i i don't That's... i i do not know why why they give you shoes as as a result i guess they want you to wear it with the noble dress because you can't you can't wear anything else with the noble dress okay uh, hello perv are you are you still being a perv there's blood on the ground Um, our, uh, our companions have apparently left. Yeah, what, what do you think of this, Mr. Pervert? Did, 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 you, want, did you want to tell me? <laughs> ah, shit, the Cthulhu corruption is, is spreading things to the Blood Moon, isn't it? Yeah, she's still, she's still in goofy state. Okay, I can't, I can't talk to you, I guess. Uh, how about... Oh, she's still giggling. <laughs> Okay, just have have a good giggle. You know what? I, I like hearing people laugh. How are you doing, Granny? Yep. The Cthulhu corruption is spreading. But why is it spreading? Because things have... Things always get worse before they get better. I have my share of woes again. I, 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 it's, still, it's still mostly concerned with dying over and over again. Just, just give it to me. Okay, she gave me two sedatives this time. Yes, sedatives. But you're never gonna use sedatives. I am going to use sedatives. The Nightmare of Mensis has a very particularly nasty gauntlet section where you have to, we have to use sedatives in order to live. I, I do not exaggerate when I say that sedatives will save your life. <laughs> Back to the hunter's dream with us. Uh, for some reason. Oh, am I gonna take all three thirds? Am I gonna do it? Yeah, let's take the one third of umbilical cord. That's one. That's two. And that is three. We did it. I guess. Yes, we did it. Alright, so we got nine insight and. And we unlock the secret password, kind of. We did it. <laughs> oh god, do I just stand here? I think I just stand here to see if she'll actually respond. And she won't. She would have already respond, uh, responded by now, Cloud. She would have. Yeah. The, th the thing about the make contact gesture is that little does the player realize that as long as you don't break the gesture, then something happens. Because most all the other gestures extinguish themselves at some point. The make contact it just it just keeps going. Okay, so what is the thing that you are waiting to have happen? It, any any second now. I, you gotta wait. <laughs> Not that waiting. Are we gonna get ah, he did it. <laughs> Meh. Okay, I, I learned something. Is that make contact is stupid. And the next part, I'm gonna impress my lady. By by having the silent two alien ending. 